Meanwhile, a new battery that can be used in wearable devices was also developed in Korea. It uses heat from the body to convert into power and is known as a flexible thermal element. There's a difference of about 10 degrees Celsius between the human body and the surrounding area. Because of this, the thermal element creates an electric current, and this in turn transforms heat into electricity through a power circuit. Just by sticking the device onto your arm, you can see power being generated. Using the difference between the skin and ambient temperature, 14 millivolts was created. By making it with glass fibers, people can wear it just like regular clothing because it's so light. The results of this study made it onto the online edition of Energy and Environmental Science last month. You can use it multiple times without it deteriorating from heat, and it's reliable and easy to use. So we're planning on commercializing it within the next three years. Many have their eyes on the potential these homegrown technologies have for future developments on the global stage. Now these two technologies have received rave reviews because of the contribution of growth they can have on the energy sector in Korea. All right, well, that's pretty amazing. But, uh, Daniel, we've seen solar cells in the past before. We've yes. seen them, they use it, uh, they apply it True. on houses as well to provide additional power. Mm -hmm. Now, this is double-sided, right, as True. well as translucent. Yes. What, uh, what, can be, what can this be used for when it's commercialized? Um, well, let me explain. Well, like you said, it is a double-sided thin-film solar cell. And basically, what we can do is it can be used as a window. So basically, you can cover an entire building with this stuff. Uh -huh. And what happens is that you can produce 2,400 kilowatts of energy, which is 22% of the building's power consumption. So wow. it can really increase the surface yes. area that you can use these films on. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And with the wearable battery, if you put it on the skin, it generated about 14 millivolts. That's a lot of power. Now, well, how about if you put it on your clothes? Wouldn't that make more power? Oh, well, let me explain. So basically, if you have 0 0.05 uh, meters squared of this surface area, basically you can produce approximately two watts of energy, which is enough for you to make a phone call. Uh -huh. wow. So that's enough energy for you to make one <laughs> phone call. Um, and also another thing is that the, uh, the device can also recharge depending on the difference of temperature. So that means when you stick this device onto your phone, it can actually recharge your phone so that you can make another call. Oh, so we can make emergency calls when we're in an urgent situation. Yes. With yes. That yes. Battery yes. problem. Pick it on your skin and then make that well, I mean, the thing is, the phone produces the heat, so the uh -huh. heat can be regenerated by the device. So it's kind of recycling. Oh. Yes, it's a recycled wow. form of energy. Okay, quite now, interesting. moving on, we have some wearable patches uh, for health purposes as well. True. Uh, we just talked about wearable batteries. Uh, but now let's talk about wearable patches, which is kind of, kind of similar but also different. And basically what these patches can do is it can monitor your health and also...